am Dr. Sharon Brown with Fits on the Go. With me, I have Dr. Mercedes Carnathan, first author of the AHA Scientific Statements on Cardiovascular Health in African Americans. Dr. Carnathan, welcome to Fits on the Go. Thank you so much for inviting me to speak with your audience today. We have a couple of questions for you. The first question is... Please share with us your experience of leading this fantastic team of authors, including the sort of skills that fellows should hope to gain to prepare for leading similar projects or teams. Well, thank you so much. I have to say the opportunity to lead the scientific statement on the cardiovascular health in African Americans was quite an honor. Every member of our team uh, was experts within their own uh, domain in cardiovascular health, and they each contributed markedly to the creation of our very comprehensive document. You know, when I think about what fellows need to be aware of when they're taking on this magnitude of a project, it's, first of all, it's setting a vision. You know, what was the goal of our statement and thinking very clearly about how we wanted that statement to be used. Uh, second, it requires a great deal of organizational skills and task management. Uh, there are deadlines when pieces of the statement are due. Obviously, priorities come up that interfere with that. And it's really keeping people motivated over a long period of time and focused on our ultimate goal. Ultimately, it worked out very well due to the contributions of my very thoughtful uh, collaborators. And we're very pleased with the outcome of the statement. Thank you. Our next question for you is, most of our fellows have limited exposure to the breadth of epidemiology. What would be a comprehensive definition that you've embraced and how has that played out in your research practice? Thanks. I'm so glad you bring that up because a lot of times when people think about epidemiology, they think about the one side of epidemiology, which is describing and defining patterns of disease in the population, but they leave off the piece related to improving public health through implementing strategies to prevent disease and to manage disease in the population. And so I think it's critically important that researchers engage directly with clinicians and cardiologists in particular so that we can define the most important questions, identify where there are opportunities for uh, in implementation of proven effective strategies at the population level, um, where we can think about interventions that can reach the largest populations at risk so that we can ultimately improve public health. Wonderful. It's been such a pleasure having you today. Thank you. For more videos like this, follow us at youtube.com slash fits on the go.